Hi, my name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on experience. Now, what the heck is this? Why do we use it? Well, I've been doing Gonstead chiropractic for many, many years, my entire practice life. I studied under uh, Richard Gull in uh, Pasadena area, uh, Glendale, and studied under him for about four years. And I learned Gonstead in school and at seminars. And, and especially from him, private uh, lessons and so forth. So what is this thing and why do we use it? And now if you watch any other Gonstead videos, you'll see they're always using this and they'll show the needle going back and forth. So if I do a close up here, the needle will go to one side or it'll go to the other side. So you can see as the needle goes to one side or the other, what is it actually measuring? Well, when this was first developed, basically in Clarence Gonstead's time, they were thinking that it, caught, it was indicating nerve pressure. Well, later on, what we found out was that when nerves got pinched, there's a front nerve and a back nerve to the spinal nerve. And what happens is the back nerve controls the little blood vessels on the superficial skin near our spine. And this happens at a segmental level. So as you run this thing down a person's spine, if the needle goes to one side, it is indicating nerve pressure. Now, it does that indirectly because when nerves pinch off at the spinal level, they will often have effects outside of the spine. So wherever the nerve goes, you get trouble. And what ends up happening is, in an acute situation, meaning a new injury, very often there will be an increase in, in blood to that area because of tissue trauma and hyperexcitability of the nerve. So we would anticipate if there's irritation to this side, the nerve would go to that side. Now what happens is when a condition becomes chronic, there is more of a lack of blood supply to this area because of uh, the tissue is not getting oxygenated, uh, fibrosis develops, so if you run the, knee, the nervoscope down the body and the needle goes to this side over here, it would say that the, there'd be more tissue. If the needle goes to this side over here like that, then what that would indicate would be there'd be more blood on one side than the other. Now the reason this is important is because this gives some predictability, uh, it's not 100%, but it gives some idea and predictability to whether this is a chronic subluxation or a new subluxation. So it's a very valuable tool. Now this is only one tool in the armament that we use when looking at a person and their health problems. So, but the nervoscope is something that's kind of fascinating to patients and they're often wondering what does it actually do? What does it mean? Unfortunately, you cannot see it as a patient because I'm behind you running it down your spine. So if you thought this was interesting, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any specific questions in regard to a nervoscope, ask in the comment section below. If you have a question regarding something else, go to that appropriate video. If you hit videos on my channel, you can find videos on various subjects, and it's just quite frankly easier for me to answer questions when it's on topic for that video. So if you have a question on blood pressure, ask in a blood pressure video. If you have a question on back pain, go to a back pain video, watch that video, and then ask questions there. It'd be much easier and much more organized for me to follow if you have a question that you want me to specifically answer for you. So thanks for watching. And let's use these nervous scopes to uh, get the world in a better place.